Ladies and gents, boys and girls, welcome back. We are in Wolfhamstow area. You seem to like these videos, so I'm back. It's kind of sunny, cloudy day, so I'm happy. I'm, ha I'm getting a little bit of sun at the moment, since all areas look so much nicer when it's sunny. For many people, these videos from this area seem to be um, kind of melancholic. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. You know, like they people used to live in this area and they look back how it has changed. They say long time ago, the market used to be something else. You know, now it's not the same. So I'm here on Thursday. Today's Thursday, 4th of August. It's around 11.30. So it's... <laughs> Some, some things did not change. You got. <laughs> there is a lot of police in this area. <laughs> there is a lot of police in this area. I don't know what's what's going on here, but anyway, he completely distracted me from what I was saying. Oh yeah, I was saying it's not a Saturday, so it's potentially not as busy as on Saturday, but. Here we are, boys and girls. I prefer on Saturday to go central London when everybody, all the tourists and everybody is out, you know? So this is how I spend my weekends. But on, on a Thursday, I don't really have anything better to do than come to areas a little bit out of London, like this one, and make people melancholic. <laughs> so here we are. I do have to say the, the selection of fruits and veggies in this area are absolutely amazing. Uh, the prices are incredible. Honestly, lucky, lucky those people who live around here and get access to this every day. You don't even have to have a fridge. You just come here, get your stuff and... Are you the one with the YouTube channel where you do walk up there? So, yeah. Uh, I, I was filming in Shepherd's Bush area a few, few days ago and the strawberries were sm smelling so incredible and I got myself two packages oh my god the melons and I got myself two packages of cherries and then two packages of strawberries and after eating all the cherries I could not finish the I couldn't finish the strawberries at all so I just carried them in my bag and they became mashed potatoes <laughs> within a few minutes so I wasted three pounds on those two packages but it is what it is lesson learned never buy strawberries unless you eat sorry unless you eat them on the spot so I ended up with mashed Mashed strawberries, <laughs> follow me for more recipes. Oh my God. As you can see, there is so much. Oh, sorry, darling, sorry. Sorry. There is so much selection here. Nice strawberry, nice strawberry, nice strawberry. Let's see. Let's see the cherries while we can. Before it's December and there will be none. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice cherry, nice cherry. <laughs> So in most markets they charge a pound per bowl for those who live in America or you know for people who watch from a different country which is much better value and often it's a much better quality like check these out here yeah the the tomatoes they look nice and ripe you can't say that about those we buy in the supermarket avocados are definitely much better to buy in these markets than than in the shop they even sell coconuts look at that they're even open already so they drain the water and you've got the meat only i think that's what it looks like they, they seem cracked yeah they are definitely cracked unless yeah no i'm, I'm talking i'm telling porkies <laughs> They would have holes if they were drained. My bad, my bad. 
So they just, oh, as they were cutting off the outer layer, they cut through, okay, now I understand. Because for me personally, when I live in Thailand, I, I don't care about the water, the coconut water, or whatever you call it. I just want the, the white stuff inside. which the, the local sellers are always happy about it because they like the water, so everybody happy. I get my coconut meat, or whatever they call it, call it, and they get the water for free, pretty much, because I paid for it. And everybody happy. As you can see, the market now is much better than in my previous videos because I came here on a I came here too late at about 3 p.m. in the past videos and the viewers still showed quite a lot of interest in my video so I was thinking oh my goodness like this is this is like the worst video ever and people watch that let me come here on a better day oh these guys are hilarious let's they like to say moochie 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 let's go and harass them a little bit <laughs> they're, they're hilarious if that's the guy oh yeah it is him he makes crazy sounds guys he is absolutely hilarious obviously he, ha he has to be in a mood for it i'm not saying he will do his performance today hey how are you, you okay? yeah i'm okay thank you But when I was here last time, I filmed him. He was absolutely hilarious. Oh, I miss my Muchi Muchi. Oh, you made my day. Looky, looky. Have a look, 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 He's got a voice for it, doesn't he? Looky, looky! <laughs> I put it on my Instagram the other day. <laughs> He's got an amazing voice. He could do so many jobs with a, with a voice like that. I'm very jealous of his voice. I, I'm, I'm not saying I would like to sound like a guy. But a strong voice, oh my god, that's, that's such a good thing to have. You can have so many jobs with a strong voice, you know. Even a personal trainer in the gym, you know, if you, if you train some people, you have to have some authority and shout over the people. You know, he could work in McDonald's. <laughs> I'm joking. Number 33! Oh, everybody would hear him. I'm joking, guys. <laughs> but yeah, there are so many jobs. Also, as a teacher, you have to have some authority. So, with a with a good voice, oh my goodness, he he is amazing. That guy, I'm jealous of his voice. I wish I had a voice like that. So here we are, boys and girls. Let me show you more. There is rooster spots. Some kind of internet shop. This is fairly new, I would say, oh my gosh, compared to, you know, a long time ago. You guys are mentioning the 80s and the 90s, you know, you used to live here during those times, so the gym was not here. Oh, it's cloudy, I don't like cloudy, I like sunny. 
But yeah, you can see it's fairly busy for Thursday midday. Loads of stalls. We are gonna walk all the way down. <clears throat> I'm just taking my time because I did realize you guys want to see more of the area. So here I am for you. Mochi mochi. <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh my god. I wish it wasn't as busy. Like he was very busy, you know, filling those bowls. But I caught him last time on a, on a good day somehow. And he was very playful. He was going on and on and on for like half an hour or so. I did film only a few, like a minute. But it was hilarious. What else do we have here? Fashion. The great eight-week sale, oh my goodness. Handbags, clothes. Oh, these guys with the music. Kebabs, I guess. It's halal. Fabrics. This store seems to be closed. Discount store, you've got peacocks. Everybody has sale, summer sale. Poundland, my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I used to come here. I used to come here, I came here like twice when I used to live in Tooting Broadway, far away from here, for the Sunday social. Um, during pandemic, I think that was. And it, it used to be much busier than these days for some reason. The stalls are not all here, at least when I checked it last. I expected, you know, so many stores and, sorry, stalls. And yeah, it's much busier now. Which is a shame because there seems to be a lot of people in the area. Everybody is out and about on Thursday, so I guess Sunday would be even more so. We've got African fabrics at the back. So, yeah. Oh, you got police even here. You see? Behind there. So many watches. Oh, yeah. And sunglasses. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my goodness, for each or three for ten. I was gonna order some of these from online and they charge crazy money. I never realized I can buy these on a... Not that I need them now, I wanted to have them in the past, but... Wow! <laughs> being tall doesn't doesn't help your one the, the one one size fit all doesn't apply to me most of the time oh this is this is nice Yeah, you guys were saying you moved from this area or your parents to Essex? Did I get that right or was, was that a comment on a different, different video? Uh, I'm not sure if that was Essex, but I know people moved out from here to further away from, from, from this area to the countryside. That's what I'm trying to say, right? She's going to give me a damn thing. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, they got dates. Look at that. Oh, I'm happy now. Sun is out. Loads of makeup. Look, there is big, big Ben Cafe, so far away from city centre. And what else? Bargain, bargain textiles. People here seem to have a lot of, a lot of time on their hands and make their own clothes. I can barely make my own food these days. <laughs> true story, guys. True story. I'm always out and filming. Um, from the morning until the evening so I eat on the go I'm, I'm never at home and when I'm at home I'm usually tired after walking for many hours so so yeah this is, this is amazing let me try to zoom out for a Taking a few pictures. Yeah, it's all about fabrics in here. Look at that. Fabrics here. Rose fabrics. Somehow I never realized that walking around here, I was just paying attention to the stalls and stuff. But now that I walk really slowly, I'm paying more attention for you guys. You, you brought my attention to this area. Um, So all I see is more fabrics there and cafes. Massive avocados. As I mentioned in my video from Shepherd's Bush, I used to eat those every day in Brazil. Oh my goodness. What we get here in the stores is tiny, tiny. <laughs> the avocados are bigger than the head in, uh, in Brazil. And cheap, cheap. Father, let grace speak for me. 
so we've got the clip up here and I'm pretty sure you will recognize the pub here since they don't seem to change I guess they're all haunted so I assume they've been here for a long time maybe the name has changed but I doubt it I'm loving today. I'm loving the colors. Fish, Fish Brothers established 1830. And it looks like Fish Brothers are jewelry or some, yeah, safekeeper and all that stuff. Oh, it's busy all the way down there. I'm so happy I came back here on Thursday because my previous videos honestly are nothing compared to compared to today and how many stalls and everything see more fabrics right there this is like the fabric central here <laughs> that's what it should be called you've arrived to fabric central look at all these colors guys that's proper eye-catching This seems to be a warehouse, designer warehouse. It's called Bad, Bad Warehouse. Bad, Bad Warehouse. <laughs> so I'm gonna repeat for those who are not familiar with this area. Apparently this is the longest market in Europe. Longest street market in Europe. So it is a special place. Ooh, money exchange. I have to remember my Pakistani rupees. Apparently they lost value. <laughs> oh my gosh. You see, you, you snooze, you lose. And that's... It looks like Tesco um, font. But it's a, a pound shop, some local pound shop. We've got hair accessories for the ladies here. Style overdose. So yeah, I guess for those who, who want to come and buy some clothes in the area, this will be a good spot to come and buy stuff. If they don't want to go all the way to Oxford Street, to Primark or somewhere. We've got a sewing, sewing stuff. And here as well, look at all these buttons, guys. Oh my goodness. See? <laughs> you don't see that every day, do you? People like to sew here. My goodness. There is furniture corner here. And 
and Bella Halal Butchers. More fabrics here. Saeed's fabric furnishing lining. All that. I saw quite a few fabrics in uh, Shepherd's Bush. I filmed so many videos in Shepherd's Bush two days ago and loads of those shops were full of fabrics just yeah. like here. You see some more here, my goodness. I never paid attention guys until today. I never real I never realized how many another look at that. My goodness. Honestly, fabric central. <laughs> And then some cushions and stuff. Bakery seems to be closed. What's that? It's it's lunchtime now, so I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, <laughs> talk about fabrics! <laughs> it gets it gets bigger and better. Look at that. <laughs> Mike, and another one there. That's crazy, what's going on? And on the other side as well, look. I had no idea, and I've been here so many times. I had no idea until today, when I'm actually walking slowly and paying attention. When I used to come here, I would just, you know, go to Wilco or, you know, pound shop or whatever I needed to buy some fruits and veggies or whatever. But when I'm taking the time, I realized this area is all about fabrics for some reason. Some, some pound. You've got some Romanian, Romanian shop here. Just give me a sec, I'll try to take my second phone. I just want to see something, I got a text. Uh -uh -uh. I'm so stupid. I didn't give myself internet. Anyway, such is life. There is local post office here. Oh, savers, you see, that's one of the shops I would come here for to buy whatever half price from from uh, wait. Um, from boots and stuff. Lidl, my favorite shop. That's how I travel because I buy cheap stuff in Lidl rather than paying twice as much in other shops. This is not my local shop, but when I used to live in, uh, in Tooting Broadway, I had four Lidl's walking distance. So yeah, years and years of buying cheap stuff. We are on 
I'm not gonna pronounce that street. You have to see it for yourself. <laughs> Oh my god, I just saw what it was written, survival techniques, co UK. This is Carries Brook Road right here. Western Union and there is hair hair and beauty salon here I'm gonna take my time in this area for you boys and girls don't you worry oh this is this is a good sto store hair products and all sorts of things I love shops like these but I don't like the prices <laughs> they got unusual uh, products that can be useful. What is it? Lithuania, Lithuanian shop. I'm gonna focus on this side now. It's nice and sunny, so hairdressers. So they get pretty much everything you need. Quite a lot of fabrics, but otherwise, all the right shops. You know, cheap, cheap, amazing fruits and veggies. So, yeah, the people who live here, they got the gym right there that is cheap, fairly cheap. Um, so, yeah, good area. Oh my God, there is a pigeon on the melon, guys. Check this out, wait. Let me zoom in. Look at that bastard. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh shit. At least you saw a little bit. He'll he'll be back. He'll be back for sure. <laughs> Look at these tomatoes boys and girls. Look at that pink beef tomatoes. Dragon beef tomatoes. All sorts of my this is this is insane. What a what an amazing selection in London. And since it's August we've got these yummy fruits here, nectarines. Incredible price compared to like uh Barra Market and other expensive areas <laughs> so yeah this is Oxfam shop here I'm pretty sure it's been here for a long time since I used to I used to work in Black Horse Road in the past not for too long like three months and somehow I think I used to live around here. I can't, I can't even remember anymore. But I know I used to come through here or live in the area. I literally cannot remember. Or I came to see some houses to potentially live here. I, I, honestly, I can't remember. And I know this, this Oxfam thing was already here a long time ago. So I know it's been here for years and years. Look at that boys and girls, what I found on the on the pavement, some dragon. I know the angle is not great, but that's the best I can do. Wolfenstow, wet wetlands, looks like some kind of bushy area. <laughs> so Costa Cafe on the other side, oh my dog, there. Uh, the red stuff, what you call it, marquees or something like that? looks disgusting <laughs> there, is, there is a lot of bird poo or whatever dust that's probably the worst costa i've seen ever
Turkish bread bakery here. Maybe I should go on the other side and oh god, this, this pavement here. Whew, insane. So yeah, let me show you from here. Indiana pizza. I know somebody commented on my previous Wolfenstow video like they couldn't locate where which end the the, the the St. James Street was so that's why I made the effort to come here and show you guys where it is look at this pavement this is what I was you think you are at the end and you are going to step on the road and there is another step so it's a little bit confusing if you are not looking where you are going like me Let's go in for a second to show you to show you more. Let me just peep through here. There is some kind of shipping containers situation going on here. Uh, some cafes or whatever. Beauty box. No logo hair. <laughs> the gold hanger. Italian bakery, long and short coffee, St. James's Pass. And for those who moved out and haven't been back to the area, I assume these houses are new to you. You know, these houses here, they look fairly new to me, so you might be surprised to see them. With all my traveling and <laughs> yeah, with all my traveling, I'll be happy one day to be to end up in a in a shipping container as my home. <laughs> the prices are going up so much. Yeah, I'm I'm getting quite anxious about about the future. Not gonna lie, I don't have a plan right now, so it's not good. So these are the newly built houses here, let's walk through. Let me actually, sorry for moving fast. I wonder if those at the back are newly built as well, these ones. It's hard to tell. They kind of look nice, so I would assume they are fairly new and look at that. It's called Jazz Yard. The 
this place is called, check it out, beaten by a whisker bakery. <laughs> beaten by a whisker. What a crazy name. Expa Planet. Gym and Fitness Club. I'm kind of getting lost here, guys. <laughs> How did I end up here? There is funeral house, funeral directors right there. Um, how do I get back to civilization from here? And this is Essex Brewery. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going back to the market and walk through. So let's do that, boys and girls. Let's go back on the main road and, and just walk through. We are gonna make a long video today for you. I hope you like. Talking about liking, please press the like button. The more comments and the more likes I get in uh, in area, especially in areas out of London like this, where nobody really goes, it encourages me to come back and explore London even more and potentially bring some nice memories to people who don't come back to these areas. So it's very important you press that like button. Since if I don't get, you know, comments, um, I don't have any incentive to come back and explore and you will see me in in Piccadilly Circus where everybody else goes and there is only so many Piccadilly Circus videos you can watch or Leicester Square so these these videos from out of London they need as much traction as they can get and if I see people are interested like they ex like they expressed interest in uh, in this area, I'll be going back to Ilford, I'll be going to Croydon at some point, even though it's extremely far away from me. I just have a feeling people might be interested in Croydon as well. I don't know, <laughs> intuition, I don't know. I've been there like once in my life and somehow it stands out for me on the map. And also if you have other areas where you would like me to go and have a slow walk around, let me know boys and girls i'm always open to like one of my subscribers suggested shepherd's bush so I, as i said i've been there two days ago and i haven't posted pre-recorded pre videos yet i've only done a live stream there and it it had decent amount sorry <clears throat> decent amount of views i would say so that encourages me to go back there and explore some more let's see Thank you. Look at this. Sorry. And this is why I like doing pre-recorded videos like this one. It's a quality 4K video more than live streams. Even though I do love the, the interaction with people on live streams, I do like it. But live stream, look at that sky, by the way. After, let's say I walk one hour, two hours for a live stream, just like, do now, just like I do now. It's been 45 minutes, yeah? Let's go here, let's go back to bus station or whatever it is here. Um, after two or three days of the, live, of the video that I've live streamed, nobody will ever watch it. And it's a bad quality as well. But when it comes to 
YouTube recommending content on you know for people they never seem to recommend uh, live streams only pre-recorded videos so video like this what I'm doing now can be viewed for seven years people seven years from now can can watch this video it's a good quality but when it comes to live stream I'm walking walking for one hour two hours you know have a little laugh and then two three days later nobody watches it and meaning it will never get live stream will never get the amount of views than a pre, than a pre-recorded video meaning the potential I'm not saying it's gonna get a lot of views I'm just saying there is a much better poten potential for me filming my time is better fr uh, spent filming pre-recorded videos than live streams hope it makes sense to you as much as I love interacting with people my time is million times better spent especially on a sunny sunny day like this if I was doing live stream right now you would see mashed potato kind of image it would be buffering you know and nobody would ever watch it and I would never maybe come back to this area again who knows so I'm just explaining how why I prefer to do pre-recorded videos if YouTube was recommending live streams as much as it's recommending pre-recorded videos then the choice would be fairly easy you know I would do many more live streams but it doesn't it treats pre-recorded as the number one uh, as, as you know it, it prefers pre-recorded videos so it is the way it is somehow I remember I used to take a bus from here to Black Horse Road in the past my god that was a long time ago but I do remember I was coming here for the bus from this area let me just have a little peep So yeah, if you show this video a lot of love, boys and girls, then I'll be going through, you know, even even more into areas like these. You know, we've got a local off, off license right there. It's the Copper Mill Lane right there. Uh, more barbers here, domestic appliances. There is, there is the bus stop on the other side, who knows? been a long time I can't remember a thing <laughs> just what is this let me zoom out a little bit I'll look at a Pretoria Avenue, as far as I know there is Pretoria Road or something like that. Was it in Johannesburg in South Africa? And they throw <laughs> and they throw washing machines and TVs and stuff on New Year's out of their windows and they shoot guns. <laughs> oh my god guys, that sounds like a proper celebration. Like true story. Uh, I've heard it from well respected people. <laughs> my bosses in the past and it's just hard to believe I hope I'm getting all those details right you know my memory can't be trusted million percent but I'm pretty sure that was Pretoria or they even call it Pretoria Pretoria and it's in uh, pretty sure it was Johannesburg South Africa and I know for a fact 
they celebrate by throwing out old stuff and shooting shooting from the guns guys how do they survive <laughs> Caris Brook Road we've been here Oh I love this light I think it's quite zoomed out. Let me zoom in a little bit. One day I could come back here on a Saturday because apparently that's really busy. You see, walking here we missed out this beautiful Desi Cake Sweet Family Bakery with the cockerel on the, on the house. That's Baxton Road, I guess, and this is the high street here. Just reading some street signs. What is this? Five. They kind of look like they close this. My problem here is gonna be where am I gonna go to the bathroom? Oh my goodness, this guy has proper face shield and a mask. You don't see that anymore. So yeah, where I'm gonna go for the toilet? You see people, people, people are, people are looking. Good for him, I mean, he's making an effort, but must be uncomfortable since it's quite hot, it's like 25 degrees, and with all of that, with the mask and with the shield, plastic shield that he has on his face, must be, and he's got a glove as well, must be quite hot. What is this? Coffee shop. So yeah, I was gonna say, it must be busier and nicer on Saturday than today on Thursday. So do let me know, boys and girls, if you would like me to come here on Saturday, one day, one day soon. I'm going to Bristol to film um, this weekend. It's my birthday, 7th of August. So I'm gonna be gone for, a, for like four days filming there. And then, sorry. And then tomorrow uh, on Saturday, I'm going to the Pride Parade in, uh, in Brighton. So quite a few days gone from my house, traveling, filming. I wish my internet at home was faster because 
it takes forever to my computer is running 24 7 and i'm getting nothing uploaded because the speed is just extremely extremely bad it's so frustrating for one video it takes like two three days to be uploaded i'm not joking so i'm scared for my external hard drive that is connected to my computer non-stop <laughs> day and night for days and days and days because one video is uploaded then i select another one and it's just never ending and i never used to do this so i don't know if the if the hard drive can take it so last night i did turn it off for a few hours but now it's back on shit cars <laughs> So while I'm gonna be in Bristol, I'm taking my computer and my external hard drive and I try to, because I'll be staying in a hotel there, so I'll try to, like anything can be, anything is gonna be better than my home internet. I hope so. Sometimes hotels can be such a letdown. So I'll try to progress with uploading, hopefully. Would be incredible. From Shepherd's Bush I've done three one hour videos and I've got many even from still from Egypt, still from Pakistan and other other videos, so oh my goodness. It's never ending. Ooh, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. <laughs> Let me check the time for you guys so you know precisely what time it is. We've been filming for an hour now, so it is 12.30 as we speak. And I checked on Google Maps, sorry, on uh, Google, and it should be the, the busiest time of the day for people to come and shop here. So on Thursday, it doesn't get any, any busier than now, than this, apparently. Oh, this looks nice. This could literally be my thumbnail, something like this. With the sun and loads of products. Busy. I've got the... Okay. You got a Polish shop there. Let's see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the colours are weird. And by the way, I, I really love reading your comments. I read every single comment under my videos. And I love hearing your experience from when you used to live here and where you moved and you know whatever input you've got to say about your experience with whatever area, not only Wolfhamstow. But it always makes my day to understand a little bit more uh, people were giving me some facts about this area, who lives, what minority live here and where was the area where people usually move to from here and lots of other interesting stuff. So feel free to comment underneath this video. I'll be very happy to read your comments. Thank you. I don't think I've seen more police anywhere in London, I swear, anywhere in London than in this area. And I see quite a lot of, every time I come here, there is quite a lot of shouting going on and misunderstandings or whatever. <laughs> like literally every single time when I come here, I hear police being involved and it's like kindergarten sometimes. You know, he said he's and shouting it. Oh, oh my god. So I think this is this is by far the best video so far I filmed from this from this market. We've got sun, it's busy. Have a look, have a look, look. Oh my my friend my friend is saying muchi muchi. I can hear his voice, we are back to him. So let's see Muchi Muchi guy. <laughs> looky looky Muchi Muchi. Oh, he's hilarious. Hopefully he's not as busy so he can do a little cherry on the top performance with his, with his voice. I'm back for more looky looky. Hi. I'm back for more Muchi Muchi. Ah, Muchi Muchi, fan of our big bow. Oh, he's he's distracted. It's just my luck. It's just my luck. He's been shouting the whole morning. I'm pretty sure. Fan of our big bow. Aye aye. <laughs> That's my favorite. That's my favorite sound. <laughs> oh, he's shy. I think he's shy. But yeah, no, these guys are. <laughs> he's got the best voice I've ever heard. I'm, I'm very jealous. I, I wish I had it. Yeah, because then you have authority. Oh, really? Yeah. No. Imagine if you if you train somebody in a gym as a as a gym instructor yeah. with a voice like that, you bossy them around. Ah. You tell them what to do. If you if you work in McDonald's, yes. you say number thirty three. They hear you. It's like that in the bedroom. <laughs> I I assume so. <laughs> 
You should know. I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. <laughs> so look at all that selection they've got here. where I can go to the toilets now I can go in inside of the mall thank God for that otherwise I started to think where I can go since I'm gonna head to central London from here and film some more on this beautiful kind of sunny day oh look at that boys and girls look how many tables so yeah our video from today came to an end please show this video some love meaning press the like button please comment underneath the video I don't usually give distraction uh, instructions like these I started to do so recently but I'm hoping you will do so for this video since I'm pleased I walked slowly I tried to show you as much as I could into detail from this area and I know you guys seem to like it so please press the like button let me know if you would like me to come back on a busy sunday saturday sundays are kind of quieter and i'll i might be back it all depends on you <laughs> if i get a feedback about an area that people like it i can come back every week <laughs> if they don't i'll go somewhere else anyway thank you so so much what is this souvenirs london souvenirs thank you so so much for watching and looky looky moochie moochie <laughs> moochie moochie <laughs> oh my god and i'll see you when you see me take care bye